Well, nice to see you boys and girls. I hope uh, you like these children's stories. This, this one today is about a boy who loved cricket, but his mum and dad didn't have any money, so they couldn't afford to give him a cricket bat. So instead, he had this. But he was quite good at cricket. Not as good as he thought he was. He was a bit of a big head. But he had a friend, and he and his friend used to play cricket in the street. He'd stand up against the lamppost and his friend would try and bowl the ball and, and, and hit the lamppost and get him out. So when the ball came, it went whack. And it went quite a long way and his friend had to go and get it, you see. And then he hit it further the next time, whack. It went a long, long way away, you see. And then the third time he went whack. Oh. I've smashed a window. I smashed somebody's window. We better run for it if they'll come out and find out it's us. So he and his friend charged down the road uh, and got away and, and the man in the in the house couldn't find them. He thought, well, I got away with that. But then he began to think to himself, that was wrong what I did there. Smashing that wind's that man's window, not even saying sorry about it. What I'll do, I'll go and see him and say sorry. It's not going to be easy, but I'll do that. His friend said, I'm not going to go. You're the one who hit, smashed the window, not me. I'm not going to go with you. So he went on his own to see the man in the house with a broken window. And he said to the man, look, I'm very, very sorry, but I'm the person who smashed your window. I'm sorry. I wish I hadn't have done it. And the man said, well, it's very good of you to come and apologise. I see that you're sorry, but who's going to pay for the window? We can't pick up the pieces of glass and glue them together. When you smash a window, you've got to buy a new window. Are you going to pay for the new window? And the boy said, no, I, I, I haven't got any money, I'm afraid. And the man said, well, what about your mum and dad? And he said, no, they haven't got any money either. They couldn't afford to give me a cricket bat. And they, they can't afford to, to pay for a window to be repaired. I'm really sorry. The man said, well, somebody's got to pay for the, for the window. He said, well, I know I've got an uncle. And he's got a lot of money and he's a very good man. I'll go and see him. So he went to see his uncle and his, un his uncle said, yes, I've got the money. I will pay for the window uh, so that the man gets the job done. But you've got to promise me something. You won't play cricket in the street again. Otherwise, you might go and break somebody else's window. Play cricket, but do it down the park or do it in an alleyway where there's no, where there's no houses. You do that. So the boy said, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So he, the man, the uncle paid for the window and it got repaired and everything was all right again. Now all that is a picture, I hope you can understand it. As boys and girls go through life, they do wrong things and they break God's commandments. And some of them, a lot of them think, well, I've got to do is to say sorry. Sorry, Lord, I did that. And that's the end of it. It's not. Somebody's got to pay for it. Somebody's got to pay for the wrong things that you and I have done. Somebody's got to pay for when we break the Ten Commandments. And that's the Lord Jesus. He's our rich uncle. And he will pay for our sins if we go to see him and if we ask him to help us. And we say sorry to the Lord and we believe that Jesus paid the price when he died on the cross. He died on the cross there and paid the penalty that would pay for all our sins to be forgiven. So remember, it's not just enough to say sorry to God. You have to realise that you're only going to get forgiven through the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's remember that as we go through life. Thank you.